Hey guys and girls, let's get this week's video started watching giant deer antlers grow. Now I've only got one buck back there behind me and uh, he might have run off. I had a couple back there a minute ago. I grabbed me a bag of carrots, Grimsley's carrots. I'm going to go out there and uh, see if I can't rattle the can around a little bit and maybe get another or two up there. That one may run off so I may not get anything but it should be an exciting week. I'm talking, I'm talking a really exciting week because we're at the point right now where the antlers are growing you can almost see it daily. I mean, you almost just sit there and watch them grow. That's how fast they're growing. So we're going to see some big changes from last week to this week. And y'all go back and look a week or two back and see where just a, three or four weeks ago, there was hardly nothing. And they're beginning to already take shape. It's amazing. So let's get started watching giant deer antlers grow. I love those carrots. <laughs> I love them as much as forest. Speaking of forest, by the way, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. I was going to go rattle a bucket. They're probably talking here. I'll do it. But let me let me swing, swing this thing around. Y'all take a look. Good morning, TC. Good morning, TC. Where are you going, buddy? Huh? Where are you going? Come on up here. Come on up here, TC. Hi, buddy. Hi, TC. Ain't going to pee right in the middle of the whole dang deal, huh? I saw one doe back off out there somewhere. Exactly where she went. Only one that's out here right now. Early this morning. It's TC. Peeing on the ground. Hi, TC. Don't see anybody else. I just do a little food. Sometimes that brings them running. But there is so much food right now. See nothing else as we look around through the hill. There comes the little girl coming up there. There she is. She was simply behind a tree. She's got ripe with child, as they say. You take a look at TC's antlers. We get a good look at them there. He's coming up here really, really close. TC is up and splitting wide. Going to split out there. They're going to be big. And he's looking really good. The guy's six, seven, eight years old. He's doing really well. He's big and fat. Some of y'all were worried about him getting skinny during the winter. He's just old, but now he's got the feet up here during the springtime. He's looking great. <laughs> You're a pretty boy, TC. Yes, you are. Where's your buddy Forrest? I saw him last night. I haven't seen him yet this morning. Yeah, he was out in the yard last night. Yeah. Hey, pretty boy. Yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> Yes. There is TC. I'm getting more look at TC this week. Just about anybody, even Forrest, as far as his antlers goes. He is the only guy up there. There was a girl up there, a big old fat girl. It's been around quite a bit. You can see TC's antlers are really getting big. One side is larger than the other, which is the way it's been lately. I start talking about him. He starts wanting to walk off. I can go over and throw a little feed out. We might be able to get a little bit closer look at his antlers. From the distance I am right now, that's uh, that's uh, that's all the way out. So let me go throw a little feed out. We might be able to get him just a little bit closer and get a real close look at it because they're almost changing by the day. Okay, I've thrown the feed out and there he comes. <laughs> there he comes right there. And you can see now as we get up closer, I'm still out at nine power, but he's only out there about 20 yards. So he's pretty close. And you can see how big around those antlers are getting. I mean, he's really developing a good rack and we don't know what he'll be uh, I'd sure like to see him get up in the double digits I don't know if that's going to happen or not uh, but he's got big wide bases on the bottom and they've uh, they've added a little bit they're, they're not splitting yet but they're wide and wanting to split and he says if you're going to stay there that close Jimmy I don't know if I want to come up here and get any south fish or not you can see what a big beautiful deer he is now Chris is over there also in her jazzy and so he's a little bit concerned about her and uh, there's our big fat girl out there, by the way. She came up, look at her, look at her. Will you look at that? She is just like bulging out on both sides. My goodness. She has got to have those babies any day now. They're gonna be walking and talking when they're born. Look at her, isn't she pretty? Got those big old whites white above her eyes. And so incredibly fat, just amazing. I guess that's babies, I hope she doesn't have something wrong with her. But gosh, you saw the 
she's fat boy in a lady size. <laughs> I've never seen a, a doe bulge out as much as she did. You know, Lucy got pretty big uh, this last time, but right before she injured herself and died, she was probably gonna have triplets again. And uh, TC does not want to come on up there because he's concerned, just concerned about Chris over there in that chair. He just won't quite get comfortable. I might just back up just a few more feet and see what might happen. I know he's not concerned about me. Not concerned about me at all, but he's concerned about Chris over there in that chair. Don't really know why, but he keeps watching her. He just will not come right on in. We got a good look at him anyway. That's a really nice look at TC's antlers. I hopefully get to look at him again before the weekend comes. Big pretty boy. There is Mr. Forrest. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's right by that tree. There he is right there. There's Mr. Forrest way out there by the lake. He's looking at me. He hears me talking over here. He heard me call his name. Hi, Forrest, baby. Hi, buddy. And then right over to the right, I saw, I think, TC. Mm, I'm not sure. That's a buck, though. There may be another or two out there. I don't know. Oh, dirty propane pack. I need to clean that thing up. That looks terrible, doesn't it? Pittman oil and gas. <laughs> you need to come and wash that thing for me. Ah, our generac generator. Listen, <laughs> Sunday morning at church, our neighbor from across the road said, did y'all lose power last night? And I said, yeah, we did just for a few seconds. She said, a few seconds. It was off till five o'clock this morning. But I said, well, ours was off for just a few seconds and it came back on and it was on until we no, that's not TC, that's a young buck. It was on until we went to bed. And, uh, and it was okay this morning when we got up, and that's 7 o'clock, and it was fine. And uh, so I said, I bet my generator kicked on. So I've had that generator for about a, a year now. They were real expensive and had a lot of problems getting it installed, but I finally got it installed correctly. And But I'm telling you, maybe it worked perfectly last night because we were watching the Dodger baseball game beat the Padres, and uh, that's a pretty buck out there. The deer that was here that I came out here to try to get a, a close look of uh, ran off. I might just walk down there and see what happens to those two right here, see if I can get forced to come up here and eat some carrots out of my hand, not worry about here at the feeder. Let's uh, head on down there. Got the lake in the background. I always like looking at the deer in that front yard. I've got my yard overseeded with pasture mix which is kind of crazy, but it's got a lot of rye in it, and the deer love to eat on it, and I love to have them out there eating. Is that crazy, or is it just simply redneck? <laughs> I are a redneck, is what my buddy Toby Keith told me. Well, that one deer took off like crazy. I mean, took off like a banshee, just bolted out of here. He let me get pretty close, and just as I was getting ready to set the cameras down, because his antlers have changed a lot since last week. I mean, took off just like a banshee, just crazy, crazy what he did. And then over here, Mr. Forrest, where are you? There you are, buddy. He's right there. And uh, I'm just handheld right here. Oh, there's another buck over there, too. I saw three or four more. I saw three or four more. Look at that one. He's got some, his horns are splitting. I saw three or four more over across the road from the house in that food plot we've got over there. We have over a hundred acres of food plots that we plant in the spring and the fall for these deer. Some inside the inside high fence and some outside on the outside high fence. But, uh, we plant a lot of stuff out there for them. We've had rain this year so those plots are doing really good. Our garden's doing bad but the food plots are doing really good and so the deer have got plenty to eat without coming to the house. So I'm pretty fortunate to be able to get videos of them around here. But uh, let's move a little closer to Forrest. I don't think he'll run off. He's kind of silly if he does. And yeah, he can you know, some of those others might walk over here too. But look at that, look at look at that, look at that antler. I'm, I'm out, he's a pretty good ways from me. You see how those antlers have grown. We'll get better looks at that as the week goes on, I'm sure. But there's at least two of them right over there. Let's get see if we can get a little closer to my man, Forrest. Hi, Forrest. Hey, buddy. How you doing, Forrest, huh? How you doing, pal? Hi, Forrest. <laughs> Tell me what kind of deal is that, walking down there and don't even get in the area code with him. <laughs> they
There he is. Oh, his has got a lot longer, but they haven't split yet. Let's see if we can get him to come a little closer, okay? Hey, Forrest. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, come here. Forrest, come here, buddy. Look at here. Look what I've got. I've got carrots. Come here, pal. Come on. We're going to look at your antlers. We'll look at them see how much they grow this week. We'll get you early this week. Come here, buddy. Here. You want a carrot? You want a carrot? Hmm? Come here, pal. Come on. Here. You want a carrot? How about that? You want a carrot? Huh? Find that carrot there. It's right beside you. You silly goose. You silly goose. It's right by your foot. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I didn't know about your nose there for a minute. Yeah, come on up here. Come on up here, buddy. Come on. Come on up here. Come on. Here. There you go. Let's see if we can get him to come on up to me. This is not really a deer whisperer deal, but we're trying to trying to get Forrest to come on up a little closer to camera so we can see him. <laughs> There he is down there. I don't know if we're going to get him any closer or not. <laughs> Come here, Forrest. Come here, buddy. He said, I got all I need to eat down here already. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. It's like trying to call a turkey. If a turkey gobble, I'd move closer to the turkey. So he's eating a couple carrots, so I'll just try to move a little closer to him. See how that works. Come on, come on, Forrest. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Okay, just like a wild turkey, I'll cut the distance down. Come here, pal. Look at here. He said, I got plenty to eat out here already, Jimmy. <laughs> got a fly after you, buddy? Hmm? None of the other deer are coming over here, buddy. Hey, hey, looky here. Hey, looky there. Well, he found that carrot pretty soon. I'll try to talk him on up here. See if he'll come on up here a little bit closer. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he found the other carrot that I ate half of it. My eyesight's getting a lot better, by the way. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on up here, pal. There's you another one. He's working on that clover. He said, this clover's really good too, Jimmy. He said, I'm getting my greens and my oranges, my colors. I'm getting all my colors in. <laughs> We're probably getting about close enough. I can turn around and get a really good look at his antlers for everybody. We'll look here just a second. Come here, buddy. Here you go. Hey, hey, looky here. Hey, Forrest, looky there. <laughs> he's gorging isn't he okay I haven't got him up quite close enough to get him to eat from my hand but I have got him in here pretty close get the camera a little bit more level there if I can or we can zoom in take a real nice look at those antlers they've gained some length and they're beginning to split that looks pretty good right there We've got three or four carrots out there in front of him. He's really not paying a whole lot of attention to. But you can see that his antlers have changed dramatically in just the last few days. It was just only about four or five days ago that we showed you a video of a forest. Beautiful chartreuse collar. Look how pretty his coat's getting. Just beautiful coat. Turn his summer coat's almost totally in. And he's just enjoying the clover here in the yard. Most people, most people want to get clover and rye and stuff like that out of their yard, but most people don't have babies like I got. Okay, we got it. We got him right up here now. Might be able to get around there and even get him to take one out of my hand. He's really not paying any attention to me at all. He's just simply eating. You can watch, see the way they do. They kind of rip the food out like that. You don't really get to see deer that close up feeding on clover that much but you can see you know they get them a mouthful and then they kind of turn their head and kind of rip it just a little bit and rip it out and he's grazing pretty good right now he's a good lawnmower i got a lawnmower and a fertilizer built in one with mr forrest there beautiful deer 
really getting after it. <laughs> Big horns are growing. You're going to have a pretty rack, buddy. I sure hope you were making some babies when you were in there the other day. I sure hope you were. He's about to get to a character on the ground. See if he eats that. Maybe I can get over and give him one by hand. Hi there. You want? Oh, you gonna come up and eat out of my hand? That's my boy. <laughs> that's what I was wanting right there. Yeah, that's what I'm wanting. You got some ticks on you. I need you to get to see that 2004. That means he was the fourth deer born in the year 2000. So that means that that boy's three years old. This will be his third set of antlers. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, and you're going to have some good ones too, aren't you? You know what I hope you have? Some babies. I said, I got some babies running around, boss. I'm hoping you have some from this last year running around. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. He says, I don't trust you. You probably put a collar on me. I need to get some ivermectin out here and, uh, and a syringe and spray some over on his back while he's up here like this, or at least around his head. That'll keep him from around his head. But that's pretty cool right there, isn't it? That's my man for us. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, yeah. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not going to mess with your collar. Your collar looks gorgeous. Yes, it does. I have some apples, too. I bought a big bag of apples this week and five bags of carrots. Yes, sir. Got four more bags. But yeah, a little whitey and wild child. We're going to let, let go out here. What are you looking at? Something scare you? Huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> what a great way to start the week out. Woo, let's see what happens this week. <laughs>